So here we have two problems of converting degrees to radians. One is converting 30 degrees to radians, and then we'll also convert 74 degrees to radians. So walking through these types of problems, if we start with the angle that we're given, so we'll start with 30 degrees. The way that I like to do these problems is to do it in a conversion method. So we're going to multiply by a conversion factor that we want to put the unit that we want to cancel out on the bottom and the unit we want to convert to on the top. The relationship between degrees and radians is that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. So you can think about like a straight line forms 180 degrees, it also forms pi radians. So those two things are equivalent and we can use them in, as our conversion factor. So since we're starting with degrees, we want to put the unit of degrees on the bottom so that it will cancel. And we want to put the unit that we're converting to, which is in this case radians, on the top. And then the numbers follow the units. The 180 goes with degrees and the pi goes with radians. From here, the unit on top and the unit on bottom, they cancel out, and it leaves us just with a unit of radians. We take our number, and we multiply it by the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So for now, let's just write it as, we'll put the 30 on top with the pi, and that'll be over 180, and that has a unit of radians. From here, we just need to simplify. So simplifying our fraction, if we have a zero on top and a zero on bottom, those can cancel out initially, leaving us with three pi over 18 radians. And then both 18 and three are divisible by three. So let's divide the top by three, which three divided, or three pi divided by three is pi and 18 divided by 3 is 6. So this simplifies down to that 30 degrees is equal to pi over 6 radians. So that's one that simplifies quite a bit down to a fairly simple fraction. But let's do another example that doesn't simplify quite as bit, quite as much. So if we start with 74 degrees, we're going to use our same conversion factor. We want to put degrees on the bottom so it cancels and radians on the top. And again, our numbers follow our units. So 180 will go on the bottom with degrees and pi goes on the top with radians. Multiplying that through, remember that a whole number is always itself over 1. So if we think about this as being over 1, the 74 is going to multiply by the numerator which makes it go with pi, and then 1 times 180 makes 180. Again, the unit of degrees cancels out because we have 1 on top and 1 on bottom, and it leaves us with a unit of radians. From here, we want to see if we can simplify this fraction. Well, both the 74 and 180 are even, so we can, any time that you have an even number, you can divide it by 2 evenly. So 74 divided by 2 is 37. So the numerator would go to 37 pi. And 180 divided by 2 is 90. So we no longer have an even number on top and bottom. We have an even on bottom but not on top. So let's see, can we divide anything else out? Does 37 divide by 3 evenly? If we divide by 3, that does not give us a whole number, so we can't divide by 3. And um, it looks like that 37 is actually a prime number, so we can't simplify that down anymore, and that would be our final answer. So I hope this step-by-step -step video solution was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. 
Also, my email is in the description below if you would like to send me like a picture of a problem that you have. Feel free to send that to my email. Thanks for watching.